first thing we're going to do is we're going to stain our backgrounds just to get some basic color, just like you would pre, um, stain you know, your regular watercolors. And then we're also going to have a couple different um, washes and some using our textural special effects that we we started in the beginning. So um, let's do the first the staining first. So grab a color. Since we're going to do florals, let's just stick with the traditional background, the blues in the top and maybe greens okay. in the bottom, if that works for you. Sure. And you know what? A wet brush for the um, this. I'm going to try. Let's see here. I'm going to do some. Let's try this blue. You can mix it too, it doesn't have to be all one. All right, so for this stain, we're gonna try another special effect. And again, we've already cleaned our background up a little bit, but I can still see a little bit of um, marks, but that's all right. It kind of adds to, um, the, when it dries, you'll see some really interesting pools of color. And, um, and that, I think this just adds to like the intrigue. So are we going all the way to the edges of the paper? Yeah, all, the way, all the way to the edges. Okay. And what we're going to do next is to take a tissue. And this is where it, you have to be careful. You don't want to um, rub too hard onto the surface, just like I was mentioning before. Um, if you rub too hard with a, a, with a um, paper product, you can get a lot of lint into your papers, which I'll show. Um, but you're just going to drop it onto your sky and use your brayer and just kind of rub it back. And you'll get some interesting marks for your sky. Isn't that cool? Oh, the, that's neat. Yeah. And if you're, as I mentioned earlier, if you're using saran wrap, you could use that too. That's another option. And we're just going to get some texture. So it almost looks like clouds. Mm -hmm. 